What's happening guys, welcome to my review of the Amazing Spider-Man Flashback miniseries issue 700.4. Previously Spider-Man got defeated by Firebrand, he got badly burned and was placed in a super villain's hospital, known as the Black Lodge. Eventually the sergeant found out that the person who they brought to the place where he doesn't belong to is Spider-Man himself. Now the issue starts with Sergeant General in a meeting room informing everyone that their latest patient is Spider-Man and they were fools to brought him in. For some unknown reason it seems that the whole Black Lodge staff hates superheroes and good guys and they want to get rid of Spider-Man as soon as possible. Sergeant decides to inform all the bad guys in the hospital of Spider-Man and wants them to kill him. He later on visits Peter who already suspects that something is wrong. The sergeant tells Peter that there's nothing to worry about and that he should rest. In the meantime, some of the criminals accept the offer to attack Peter later the same night, although the shocker decides to pass and leaves the hospital being already healthy. Why? I don't know. What happens next is Spider-Man at his best, he managed to defeat all the criminals that attacked him, he almost regenerated from all of his injuries, so it took him just a bit of time. Now that's one of the problems I have with this issue, Peter's healing factor, I mean he recovers from being badly burned to being completely healthy in just like a few days, and I don't really remember when Peter had the ability to heal so fast. A nurse, seeing that Peter ruined their plans and defeated all the bad guys, runs towards Firebrand who is in coma and tries to wake him. Unfortunately, something goes wrong and Firebrand explodes, setting the whole hospital on fire. Being a good guy, Peter saves all the crooks who attacked him just a few minutes before and takes them out of the hospital. We then see Sergeant and the staff leaving the building. One of the staff members asks Sergeant why didn't they simply give Spider-Man a poison of some sort and Sergeant replies by saying that they are healers after all and even though Spider-Man isn't welcome here, they still have their obligations. The sergeant among with staff then leaves and their fate is left open just like that. We don't know where they went and what happened to them. Well, Peter finally gets some rest at home. Now, one of the reasons I really enjoyed previous issue and the introduction of the Black Lodge is that it left us with so many questions, like who is sergeant after all, who's behind this whole villain's hospital idea and so on. Unfortunately, this issue doesn't answer any of those questions. The sergeant mentions someone as benefactor, who is responsible for the creation of this place. But that's about it. I assume this mysterious person is a good guy after all, seeing how they treat bad guys so good and actually help them. Now that's really sweet, I mean how often do we really care what happens to all the villains once Spider-Man defeats them? especially our favorites. The Black Lodge story does great job by showing us that even bad guys are humans after all, and they need some help. The artwork is spectacular just in the previous issue, that's really good, and that's about it. The rest of my thoughts on the conclusion of this story and the whole issue, unfortunately it's not the best ending for a story with so much potential. I mean you can't tease so much and leave the reader without answering all of these questions. I give it a C plus with some hopes that someday we'll see what happened with the sergeant and his staff, and considering that just recently Marvel announced the relaunch of the Amazing Spider-Man series, there's a huge chance that we'll see sergeant once again. Anyway, let me know what you guys think, and I'm out for now.